In this tutorial, I will be walking through the steps for setting up your creator account to the sign.space virtual world platform. So the first thing I need to do uh, is come to sign.space in a browser and uh, create a new account. And so I'm going to join free and I'm going to uh, choose an avatar and an avatar name. Uh, run test av5 uh, and I'll use an email address uh, and um, one that I haven't used already and create a password and uh, you will probably have the I am a content creator interested in making content tick box ticked already do make sure uh, that it is ticked um, I'm going to accept the terms and conditions because that's what uh, signs you up to the creator program as distinct to uh, just being a general uh, visitor to the public grid. Um, I'm ticking the terms of service as well. I'm not a robot. Uh, I click join for free. Uh, now I've got, uh, uh, because I'm uh, signing up as a creator, uh, I'm requested to provide a bit more uh, sort of real world information. Uh, so my name, uh, I'm going to put my Skype handle, uh, and we do uh, recommend that people add their Skype handles because if you have a Skype address, uh, because there is a very active community there uh, that you can participate in. Uh, my portfolio is uh, the company website, uh, and I am a virtual world developer who uses Unity and a whole load of other things. And um, uh, one feature that I would like added to a virtual world facial recognition. So a bugbear of mine, tell us what you would like to build. Stories and submit application. Okay, uh, now you can see I've come to a uh, getting started page uh, where I've got access to all of our documentation. I can download the uh, editor pack, which is what you import uh, into um, uh, your Unity project um, and I can go to the uh, uh, wiki and I can see all of our tutorials. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, is go to uh, the wiki. So this is where all of our documentation is and uh, here you'll see I can follow a link to download Unity uh, which is the next uh, key step that I want to pursue. And now what I'm going to do is install Unity. So I'm coming to the Unity Download Archive uh, page, uh, which you'll have a link to in your documentation. And uh, you just need to install uh, the version of Unity uh, that we are currently running. Uh, we're normally a few months behind Unity's very latest version uh, because um, we wait for them to uh, finish debugging uh, before uh, we migrate uh, up. Um, so um, I'm here in installing 5.3.5, uh, but you should install whichever version is um, uh, defined in the documentation when you receive it uh, from us. If you are running Mac or Linux, you do need to also have Mono installed. Again, there's a uh, note on that in the documentation. And also for Linux, be aware that there are very specific versions of Unity uh, that you should run. Um, and again, look for documentation on that in the wiki. But so I'm going to call, come here to the Windows download. And uh, it's important that when you are downloading this, uh, use the uh, Unity installer, which is uh, an installation application that will get downloaded to your desktop. You can download the Unity editor uh, just in 64 or 32-bit here, uh, but it won't automatically include what's called the desktop build module, uh, which you require. So if you go to the Unity installer here, um, you'll see it launches a little executable file. And uh, I'm not actually going to go through all of this because I do, do actually have it all installed already. But as you go through the Unity installer, you'll, you'll see here it comes to all of the options of what you can include. You don't actually need to change any of this, uh, but I'm just showing you it does include Windows build support. Uh, that's what you need. Uh, you can, if you want to, install the WebGL build, the iOS build, the Android build. Um, uh, however, the processing of your content for WebGL, for Android, for iOS, all happens on our servers. So you don't need to have any of those installed, but you do need 
uh, the Windows build. So as you go through this process, you'll see it's already ticked. You just need to click Next and it will install. I'm actually not going to do that because I have it installed already, but that shows you uh, the process to go through. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is um, open Unity. And the first time you install uh, Unity, it'll ask you to register with them. Uh, bear in mind that your account that you create with Unity and your account that you create with uh, Space are completely separate. Uh, your Unity account uh, will give you access to the Unity Asset Store, uh, which you might use for buying uh, um, some content. Uh, they have uh, quite a big uh, library of content there, uh, and it also is also how you are registered with Unity, uh, but it's a completely separate account to your Space account. And when you first open it, you get a panel that shows you any existing projects you have and allows you to create new projects. I've got a load of existing ones here, uh, but in the top bar here of the um, uh, Unity sign-in panel, I've got a new button in the top right. I'm going to click that, create a new Unity project. I'm going to call it uh, Space Demo, uh, and I'm going to make it 3D, and I'm going to create uh, the project. So that will open Unity. Now, um, for those of you not familiar with Unity because you're coming from other virtual worlds or uh, you haven't worked with it in the past, Unity is a game engine. It's a, um, one we've been working with for about seven years. Um, and as with quite a lot of applications like this, there are different um, uh, views. Um, all of our video tutorials, including th this one and all the ones on how to create a region, how to create clothes, how to create gestures, so on and so forth, I'm using this layout where I've got my scene and my game window uh, next to each other there. And then I've got on the, on the side here, the, the hierarchy panel here in the middle, uh, which shows me what assets I have inside the scene itself. Uh, then a project file here, which currently has nothing in it. But if I save this scene as test scene, you'll see it then gets created as an asset there. Uh, and then the inspector here on the uh, right hand side which shows the settings um, and attached components for any object that you happen to be looking at. So for instance with this camera I can see that there's um, uh, uh, you know, a blue background and so on and so forth. These are the parameters relating to this object. The light I can see can change the color and so on and so forth. Um, so that's a basic overview of the layout. This layout that I've chosen here, if you want the same layout that I'm uh, using, you go to Window, Layouts, and it is the uh, uh, two by three layout. Uh, the default one, I don't, I, I don't uh, like very much. It's marginally different. It puts some other asset, it puts, puts um, some of the windows uh, in different places. But the one I use, if you want to use the same one as me, is the two by three layout. Okay. So now what I want to do is import the Space Virtual World Editor Pack into Unity. Uh, you should have been given a link to download this. It's a Unity file and it contains all of our components and tools that, that allows you to use the Unity uh, game engine uh, to assemble and uh, assemble regions and submit regions and virtual goods um, of all sorts of uh, um, uh, kinds. Uh, to the space virtual world. So to import the editor pack, I go to assets here in the top menu bar uh, on the left hand side. I go import package and then I go to custom package. And now I'm just going to find that uh, package which is uh, here. So I've got editor pack six and I'm going to import this. And so uh, Unity is now going to unpack this package, which is in a way it's a bit like a zip folder. It contains lots of other components. And, and before I import it, it's going to show me everything that's inside uh, the package that I'm, uh, uh, that I'm importing. Um, with this package, I want to import everything. Uh, sometimes if you are importing content from the Unity Asset Store, maybe you're buying some components that you want to use to create your region, some terrain or some trees or whatever it may be, uh, you might look through that um, window uh, and untick the scripted objects. Um, you'll see in later tutorials that those um, 
uh, you don't want inside your project. Uh, but this package that I'm importing now, I want all of it. Okay, so here we can see that window, and uh, these are all the objects that you're about to import into the project folder uh, here, project directory. And uh, you can see it's a combination of FBX files and uh, images and code um, that compromises uh, our toolkit. So I'm going to import all of this. It will take a few minutes. Good, so that is now imported. It took a little bit longer because there's quite a lot of content uh, to bring in. Um, but you can see now I've got a load of project uh, folders here. And most of these you don't need to dip into ever. It's just the system code. Um, but there is an artist project folder here uh, that has a few um, uh, templates and, uh, uh, and components that you might use as a starting point. You'll see those explained in the other tutorials. Uh, generally speaking, as a piece of good housekeeping, what I tend to do is create my own folder in here and then put all of my project work in there separate from all of these system folders. So I'm going to create a, a new folder just by right-clicking in the project um, uh, window here and going Create Folder. Uh, and I'm going to call this Rowan Projects. And that test scene that I created, I'm going to drag in there. So now you can see that's there. And if you want to import assets from your desktop, like maybe you've got some FBX files or some uh, um, uh, uh, texture files or whatever, uh, you can just right click on any folder and show in Explorer. Um, and now you can see I can drop files into here. And you will see that every time you add a file, uh, Unity will create another file uh, with the same name and then meta attached to it. Uh, you don't need to pay any attention of those to those. That's uh, just Unity's um, uh, uh, description of whatever file you've you've added. If, for instance, you import a uh, a PNG file, you might uh, set some settings internally here. It might treat it as a normal texture or a sprite and whatever settings you apply to it will be saved in that meta file. Uh, okay, so the other thing that you will see once you've run that import is that there is a space uh, menu item suddenly in the top menu bar up here, which is where some of our um, tools are accessed. Um, uh, the rest you will find in amongst these as components that you attach to your work as you're creating uh, scenes and virtual goods. Uh, but the first thing that I need uh, to do, having installed the editor pack, is come up here and just one time do install editor pack settings. So from the space menu bar that I now have in the top menu of Unity, I'm clicking on install editor pack settings, which is an instant process, installed editor pack settings, okay. And now I'm also going to space um, menu item in the top menu bar and I'm going to upload settings uh, and I click on upload settings and here you can see now uh, one of those folders has opened and um, is exposing a component in the uh, in the inspector window here on the right and this is where I'm logging in with the same account that I just created at the sign.space uh, website. So I'm putting in my uh, username, which was Rowan Test AV4, and my password. And I log in. And because this is the first time I've logged in with this new account that I've created, I'm being asked to add my real name. Uh, the name of my business, if I have one, which I do. And uh, my address. And uh, I'm also being asked to sign the end user license agreement, which you can uh, see here. And so I'm going to tick that I accept that. 
And now you can see my account is linked. You can see the key that they've given me is valid and I have a creator ID. So again, that's a one-time process. That's everything I need to do to set up my account uh, in uh, Unity and to import the space editor pack. And now uh, I can create as many um, regions, uh, as many virtual goods items as I want to in here and upload them to my account. Um, and the first place those objects will appear when I upload them, and all of the other tutorials in this series will show you how you go about doing that, is they'll appear on our preview server. So you can look at them in private, uh, and then you can also then submit them to the live servers. So that's a basic overview of how to set your account up. There's one last thing I'm going to show you, uh, which is um, once you've started to create content, you'll see you'll want to um, uh, be able to review what assets you own and manage them. And so there is another website that you can come to, uh, which is called curator.sign.space. And when you've created your account, you can log in here. I'm actually going to log in with a different account here. Uh, just so that uh, I can show you something that already has content attached to it. Uh, but you'll see here you've got links to the wiki and things like that and the other video tutorials. Uh, here you've got your API keys, um, you've got your profile. Uh, and then here you can see I've got the items that I've created. So I've got skins and regions and so on and so forth. And um, uh, as I say, when you first upload them, you'll upload them to our preview server, which is creator.sign.space, where you can check them out, make sure you're happy with them, test any multi-person components that you can't test uh, on the desktop. Uh, and then if you're happy with what you've got, you click send to review, and uh, it will either go directly to the live server without review, or it may be reviewed uh, internally by our staff, depending on your uh, subscription level with us. So that curator.sign.space website is there for you to review your uh, content and indeed as you start selling stuff if you are um, a merchant you'll also get your reports on what has sold um, uh, 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 here as well and see the invoices uh, that we procedurally generate to allow you uh, to cash out. Okay, so uh, the next set of tutorials that you can watch will show you how to create and submit clothing, how to create and submit regions, uh, but I hope this is a useful introduction to setting up the uh, account and setting up Unity.